Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Katarina, and I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is going to be a prom inspired makeup tutorial. I'm going to take you full face through everything, and you can also use this, you know, for any big special event. It's just using some beautiful romantic shades, a lot of pinks, dusty mauve. I feel like this is very suitable and appropriate for prom, and I feel like it's going to look wonderful on any dress color that you're wearing. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have an amazing, amazing time at prom, and I hope you have so much fun. Take lots and lots of pictures and let's get on to the tutorial. So right now I do have some hormonal breakouts going on so I do want a full coverage foundation as I would anyways. So the one I'm going to use today is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. A really good alternative would be the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. This one's also really good but I like this one because it doesn't have any SPF in it so it's not going to have any flashback in your photos. I'm going to go in with some concealer to hide those dark circles and to help brighten the face. This is the Maybelline Instant AJ Wang Concealer, really good for dark circles. And I'm going to apply this heavily because this is such a full coverage but a very, very lightweight concealer. It's not going to look cakey. Also, this concealer does not have any flashback as well, so you don't have to worry about having like raccoon eyes. So I hit all the high points of my face and then I'm also going to go right under my cheekbone. This is going to really help emphasize and lift your cheekbones. And then I'm just going to blend everything into Beauty Blender. So I'm just going to set my face using the Maybelline Fit Me Press powder and a big large kabuki brush. And I'm just going to pat this all over my skin to make sure that we lock in all those oils and we stay matte all day and it prolongs the wear of this foundation. Next I'm going to work on my brows really quick so I know the frame of my eye and what I'm going to work with. And I do have a full brow routine that I'll link down below if you guys want to check that out. Okay, now we're going to leave the face alone for a little while while we work on the eyes. So I'm first going to prime my eyelids and I'm going to use this Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer. So I mentioned I really wanted to focus on this Maybelline The Blush Palette because I just love these romantic shades. So I'm first going to go in with a large blending brush and I'm going to take this middle kind of soft, dusty, light tint. And I'm going to apply that in my, right above my crease. I also want to warm the eye up a little bit so I'm going to go into this NYC Individual Eyes Palette and I'm going to take this matte brown shade right here. It's a really warm toned brown with a delicate fluffy blending brush and I'm going to apply that right above that dusty mauve shade. Next I'm going to take this kind of more of a cranberry shade right here and I'm actually going to apply this with my finger. I find you can transfer the most pigment that way. And I'm just going to pop this on the outer portion of my lid. I'm going to take a blending brush and that way I can just blend it upwards into the crease just focusing on the outer portion of my eye. Next I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Cream Eyeshadow. This is in the shade number 130 and I'm going to apply that right on the inner corner of my eye. Also going to bring this in on the tear duct and right on the lower lash line right in the inner corner. I'm going to go back into that Maybelline palette. I'm going to use this really light pink shade and mix it in with this pearlish vanilla shade with a synthetic flat brush. I'm going to put that right over top of that cream shadow. With these two gold shades right here and put that more on the center of the lid kind of creating a gradient effect from really really light almost white to really light pink to kind of a gold and then a cranberry shade I do want a little bit more of a gold so I'm gonna go in with this forever 21 palette also very very affordable with this true gold shade right here and pick a little bit of, a, of that up and it's really pigmented so I'm going to use a light hand with this. 
just putting this on the center of my lid. Taking a clean, fluffy blending brush, just going to blend out the harsh lines. I'm also going to use that light pink shade right here on my brow bone to lift the brow and then add a little highlight there as well. Going to tight line, I'm going to use this Rimmel Scandalized Eyeliner. Any black eyeliner will work. And then I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner. I think this one is from e.l.f. And I'm just going to create a really thin line on the top of my lash line, closest to my lashes, and then also flick it out a little bit. And then next we're going to curl our lashes, apply a little bit of mascara, and then put on some false lashes. And then the lashes I'm going to use are the Kara S4. So once your lashes are on, you want to go ahead and fill in those spots where you can kind of see the lash glue still. And so I'm just going to go back in with that liquid liner and just make sure that all that white is gone. And you guys know me, I do my makeup kind of weird, so I'm going to now start going back into my face and then I'll finish up the eyes later and do lips and all that good stuff. So first, I want to warm up the skin. I'm going to use this e.l.f. bronzer in the shade Caramel Cabana. It's a really nice, kind of medium, warm brown. It's really pigmented, so you really want to use a light hand. And I'm just doing where the sun would naturally hit me, so I'm going up on the temples, my hairline. For a blush today, I want to keep it kind of like on the more mauve side. I'm going to use this B Matte Blush from City Color Cosmetics and a little blush brush. Top off the excess. And go right above the bronzer. Really like to focus on the outer portion and then blend in towards my apple of my cheek. Now we really want to have a highlighted face. It's going to look so stunning in pictures. Go in with this City Color Spotlight Highlight. This is a cream to powder highlight. I'm using this because the cream is going to make this last all day. I'm going to put this right on the high points of my cheekbones. Right on the bridge of my nose. Right on my cupid's bow. Finish up the eyes. So I'm gonna go back into that Maybelline palette. I'm gonna use this darker shade. It's kind of like a black with some burgundy flecks in there. Really pretty. And I'm gonna pick that up and I'm going to put this on the outer corner of our eye, just kind of smoking everything out and giving some drama. Next, for that lower lash line, I'm first gonna go in with that um, first shade that we went into, our transition shade on a pencil brush, and I'm going to run this all the way on the bottom. I'm going to take that same cranberry shade, put that more on the outer half. Then I'm going to go in with that last shade that we used, uh, that really dark, almost black shade with some burgundy flecks, right on the outer V. I want to do a couple different lip options for you guys. So I'm first going to cancel out my natural lip color. First lip is going to be kind of like your berry kind of mauve lip. Pretty natural looking. So I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade T Rose. I'm going to apply that all over my lips. I'm going to top it off with this Essence XSL Shine Lip Gloss in Nude Kiss. This is what the first lip option looks like. This is probably my favorite because I really like the way this complements the eyes. This lip isn't overpowering, but it's still kind of different, kind of unique, and it's gonna just be beautiful on everybody. Next lip option is for my girls out there who really love that light pink lip. This is in the shade Pink Pout. This is from the Revlon Super Lustrous line. I'm gonna first put that in, it's also matte. 
all over my lips. And then I'm going to top it off with the Maybelline Color Elixir. And this is in the shade Petal Plush. This makes it a little bit more flirty, a little bit more girly, and I just really like this one as well. Okay, and this next lip option is for those really bold and fierce girls who want to rock that deep red lip that is going to be so sexy and sultry. So this is the Jordana Quick Liner in the shade Hot Cocoa. It's kind of like a burgundy brown, and it's going to look really good with the lip gloss. I'm going to top it off with this Flower Cosmetics Shine the Lip Gloss in the shade Stop the Violets or Shop the Violets. Beautiful, kind of like deep burgundy blood red kind of. It's beautiful. And I love this combination as well. It just turns up that sexy notch. It is so stunning on the lips and it's just going to make your lips pop and stand out and I just... Alright you guys, and my last tip is use that same highlighter or just an eyeshadow, anything that has a nice kind of skin tone shimmer. And you're going to pop that right on your collarbone. You guys, this makes just everything, especially if your hair is up, it's just going to make your collarbone pop. And it's so easy to do, it looks like you're just glowing from within. and. Oh, it's just beautiful. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and found it helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. I hope you guys have so much fun at prom. Make sure to take a ton of pictures and just have a blast. And of course, as always, be safe. Make sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, like I mentioned last video, I do have a 5,000 subscriber giveaway coming to you guys very, very soon, probably within the next week. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! If you want to check out my last video, go ahead and click the video playing. It is a spring beauty and accessory haul. You can also connect with me on social medias up at the top right, Instagram and Twitter. As always, make sure to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!